tonight on the America's Carmart Football Report. It's our Halloween edition, and the goblins are out in force. The Harrison goblins, that is, still in contention in the 5A West, thanks to Farmington's upset of Shiloh Christian last week. That's the Saints' first conference loss in five years. I'm David Wallace. This spooky Friday night features a few games to decide conference championships, like Bigelow and Conway Christian in the 1AA. In 6A, top dog Greenwood plays Pulaski Academy, but we'll have to ward off Little Rock Christian next week before we'll know how the West was won. We'll talk about all of it in the half hour ahead. The America's Carmart Football Report starts now. Good grief, I can hardly stand the excitement. I'm going to have to bring Barry Grooms in just to calm me down. And I will here in a minute. The rest of the Hootens.com gang are in the background helping provide this content and give support, including ACMFR editor, producer, Bates Yoakum, and executive producer, Thomas Thrash. Let's kick it off with Class 7A and look at the top 10 ranking on Hootens.com. And it starts again with Conway, unbeaten and still number one. In fact, there are no changes in the 7A top 10. Fayetteville is also unbeaten. And standing at number two, then you have Bentonville at three. Bryant at four, impressive last week in their win at Cabot. Bentonville West stays at number five. Rogers at number six after losing to Bentonville. Fort Smith Southside is seventh. Cabot is number eight. Bryant broke Cabot's 10-game home winning streak last week. Jonesboro is ninth. Then North Little Rock is number 10. And the Charging Wildcats picked up a key win last week over Fort Smith Northside. Despite some losses among those top 10 teams, all of them occurred to higher ranked teams, and so they stay in their positions. Last week, 6 and 2 in our picks for 7A. Let's look at this week in Class 7A Central. Number 1, Conway, going to number 10, Jonesboro. Hootens.com picking the Wampus Cats on the road. Number 4, Bryant, welcoming number 10, North Little Rock. And Hootens.com goes with the Hornets. And number 8, Cabot, is picked to bounce back. At Fort Smith Northside, Little Rock Southwest gets the nod at winless Little Rock Central. In the 7A West, second-ranked Fayetteville is the favorite at Heritage. Hootens.com is going with third-ranked Bentonville and home over Springdale. Fifth-ranked Bentonville West is the pick at number 7, Fort Smith Southside, in a fairly even matchup there. And sixth-ranked Rogers is favored at Harbor. Okay, Barry, that's 7A. Talk about some of those. David Conway went easily over Central last week, 55 to nothing. But the impressive thing is the Wampus Cats held Central to 53 yards of offense. Jonesboro is the opponent this week for Conway. Jonesboro playing better each week with quarterback Asa Myers. A week ago, he sparked this team with 235 yards, passing three touchdowns. It's been a much different Golden Hurricane team since Asa Myers took over at quarterback. And he's got a big receiver out there named Chris Stacy, who had nine catches a week ago. But Jonesboro has its work cut out this week against Conway. Good enough. Now to 6A, where the top five remain the same on Hootens.com. Number one, Greenwood, unbeaten, but playing its toughest two games of the season the next two weeks, as we alluded to in the open. Right behind Greenwood, Little Rock Christian at number two, followed by third-ranked Benton, one win away from claiming the 6A East title. Pulaski Academy is fourth, and you have Marion at five. Little Rock Catholic moving up one to number six after beating Jacksonville. West Memphis drops one to number seven, despite beating Green County Tech. And Greenbrier, also moving, goes up one spot to number eight, despite losing to Pulaski Academy. Searcy is down one after losing convincingly to Benton. Mountain Home moves up one into the top ten at number ten, after winning at Siloam Springs. Putins.com got all nine of the 6A games correct last week, and on the season stands at 84%. In the 6A East this week, number three, Benton, going to number seven, West Memphis. These teams have split the last six meetings. Hootens.com and a close one likes Benton over the Blue Devils. Number five, Marion is the pick at Sylvan Hills. Hootens.com going with sixth-ranked Little Rock Catholic at home against El Dorado. Ninth-ranked Searcy still on the road but favored this week at Jacksonville. Sheridan welcomes Green County Tech. The Yellow Jackets manage just 201 yards and committed three turnovers in a mercy rule loss at Marion last week. Newtons.com picks Sheridan this time. 
In the 6A West, it's the Hootens.com Game of the Week, number one Greenwood. At number four, Pulaski Academy, Hootens.com likes the visitors from Greenwood over the Bruins. Second ranked Little Rock Christian at home, welcoming number eight, Greenbrier. Hootens.com picking Christian in that one. And number 10, Mountain Home, a home favorite over Van Buren. Russellville, another home favorite, welcoming Lake Hamilton, the Cyclones, get the nod. Barry? Well, it's a big one this week. Greenwood at Pulaski Academy, two of the better programs in the history of Arkansas high school football. These teams have split their previous six meetings. Pulaski Academy has won state championships eight of the past nine seasons. This year, the Bruins are 7-1 and one despite losing their leading passer, rusher, and receiver all from the summer to the start of the season just been an unbelievable team effort for the Bruins, but Greenwood, Kane Archer, the sophomore quarterback phenom, is finally healthy. He's been on fire the past couple of weeks, and he will really test this Bruin defense. All right, David, can't wait for kickoff. Man, it's time for some football. I'm Chad Hooten for America's Car Mart. If you're headed to the game, just remember that America's Car Mart is all in for Arkansas high school football. And when you shop at America's Car Mart, they're all in for you. From purchase to payoff, Car Mart will work with you and your individual situation. It's personal for Car Mart. Just go see for yourself why Car Mart is different from all the rest. You can stay connected by following Car Mart on social media or online at car-mart.com. America's Car Mart, keeping you on the road and good neighbors in our communities. Coming up next, more from the America's Car Mart Football Studios. David Wallace and the Hootens crew with more rankings, analysis, and predictions next on the America's Car Mart Football Report. Not all college ends with a bachelor's degree. There are shorter-term programs that help students get to work in a profession they love. Best of all, Arkansas needs qualified workers in these high-demand fields, healthcare, industry manufacturing, and information technology. There are scholarships such as Arkansas Workforce Challenge and Our Future that will help pay for classes. Apply today at scholarships.adag.edu. Okay, I gotta pick up some beef for the cookout. Now what's good? Let Tony make the call. Tony Romo? What are you doing in a butcher shop? Ah, just something I picked up in the off season. What's up? I'm on my way to a barbecue. What should I bring? Steaks, hamburgers, brisket. Are those my choices? That's your order. Beef is the best way to make your cookouts extraordinary this summer. Thanks, Tony. Another satisfied customer. All right, who's next? Beef, it's what's for dinner. Funded by Beef Farmers and Ranchers. David Wallace back with you on the America's Car Mart Football Report, Class 5A now. We have a few shakeups in the 5A rankings after a couple of upsets last week. At number one, you still have Little Rock Parkview unbeaten and staying in that top spot. Number two, Mills moving up three spots after beating Joe T. Robinson without 12 of its players. Valley View is third. Then you have Shiloh Christian down two positions after losing at Farmington. Pine Bluff is up one to number five, and the Z's have an off week to get healthy. Seventh is Hot Springs. Joe T. Robinson tumbling three spots after that loss to Mills. Southside is eighth. Hot Springs Lakeside ninth. And Camden Fairview number 10. Hootens.com on the year is 83% in Class uh, 5A on these picks. Let's look at the 5A Central to start things out. Number two, Mills coming back home. Welcoming Marlton. Hootens.com likes Mills to win that one. Number seven, Joe T. Robinson is a road favorite at Whitehall. Momel welcoming Valonia. Valonia has won consecutive games after starting the season 0-6. That win streak is predicted to come to an end this week, though, as Hootens.com is going with Momel. BB faces winless Watson Chapel, which is riding a 17-game losing streak. Don't expect that to end anytime soon. BB picked here. In the 5A East, number three, Valley View, a road favorite at Nettleton. Hootens.com is picking eighth-ranked Southside, also visiting, going to Batesville. Brooklyn is a third road favorite in this conference. Should win at Perigould, and Wynn gets the nod playing at home against Forest City. All right, Barry, we'll stop right there for a moment in 5A. You have a couple of games you want to talk about? David, the game I got my own is number three, Valley View at Nettleton. Valley View getting big plays from senior quarterback Carson Turley and a host of receivers. T.J. Starks is the guy who stepped up big time a week ago. 
Nettleton running the ball. The Raiders are running for almost 300 yards a week. They've got a senior, T.J. Brown. He's been right at 200 yards each of the past two weeks by himself. This is a Blazer team going for their fourth conference championship in the past seven seasons. Can clinch it with a victory over Nettleton. Also looking at Forest City at win, simply because the win Yellow Jackets are not technically out of the playoff chase yet. And the Yellow Jackets have won 15 of the past 19 over Forest City. At one point, this was one of the more heated rivalries in all of eastern Arkansas. Now to the 5A South. That's where number one Little Rock Parkview plays. Patriots traveling to ninth-ranked Hot Springs Lakeside. Hootens.com likes Parkview to go to 9-0. and Number six, Hot Springs going to number 10, Camden Fairview. That's the Hootens.com Class 5A game of the week. And Hot Springs is favored there. Texarkana is a home favorite over Hope. And Magnolia gets the call to beat DeQueen. Now we move to the 5A West. Number four, Shiloh Christian hadn't lost a conference game in five years before last week. And the Saints should get it back on track playing at home against Prairie Grove. Farmington is a home favorite over Pea Ridge. Hooters.com likes Harrison over Clarksville, that game at Harrison. And Alma, a road favorite at Dardanelle. Well, we mentioned the game of the week, Barry. Why don't you tell us about it now? David, our game of the week this week is number seven Hot Springs at number 10 Camden Fairview. Both of these teams are in the playoffs. Big time implications, though, with this game. Either of them can finish between number one and number four in the playoff seedings. Hot Springs last week went to Texarkana, got a 36 point victory, even though their top receivers, TJ Brogdon and Octavius Rhodes, set out the game with injury. The Trojans simply turned to senior quarterback Matty Ice. Matthew Contreras, he carried the Trojans last week, passed for 402 yards and six touchdowns. Oh, yeah, and he averaged nearly seven yards a carry. Justin Washington, a backup receiver, he shined. He caught four passes for 137 yards. All four of them went for touchdowns, or he would still be running. The Trojan defense, four, six turnovers, and recorded eight sacks. Just absolute domination by Hot Springs. Fairview, on the other hand, getting big plays from their quarterback, junior Daryl Adkins. He is proving to be a dual threat every week. And then Justin Frazier, the hard-running running back, and Caleb Smith playing well on that defense. This game should be a good one. Okay, David, sounds like some great games this week. I'm Chad Hooten with Hooten's Arkansas Football for America's Car Mart. And just like all the hard-working high school football players, the folks at Car Mart work hard to keep you on the road. Car Mart knows that buying a vehicle is a big decision, and that's why they take selling you a vehicle very seriously. When you shop at Car Mart, they're there for you. Car Mart cares about you and your vehicle ownership. You know what? You can save time at the dealership by starting your car buying journey online at car-mart.com. It's America's Car Mart, keeping you on the road. That's their pledge to you. And coming up next, more from the America's Car Mart Football Report Studios. David and the Hootens gang with analysis of more matchups and those crystal ball predictions. Next on the America's Car Mart Football Report. Going to college may not look the same as it has before, but you have the power to move forward. There are over 1,000 hands-on or online programs in Arkansas designed to put you to work, and they qualify for state scholarships and grants. Healthcare, education, computer technology, industry technology, and more. Take your next step forward. Visit Explore AR. We're into Class 4A now as you return to the America's Car Mart Football Report Studios. And as we look at the top ten on Hootens.com, only one change. Malvern is at number one, and the Leopards will play two tough games for the 7-4-A title in the next two weeks. Warren at number two is one win away from the 8-4-A title. Harding Academy stays pristine at number eight and is ranked third. Elkins, another unbeaten team, another 8-0 team at number four. Rivercrest is fifth. Arkadelphia is sixth. Ozark stays at number seven despite a mercy rule loss to Elkins. DeWitt at seven and one is eighth this week. Nashville is ninth. And Heber Springs moves up eight spots and into the top ten at number ten after beating Stuttgart by one point. Well, on the season, Hootens.com has correctly picked 84% of the Class 4A games. 
in the 1-4-A this week. Week 9 of the season, number 4, Elkins at home, a favorite over Gentry. Hootens.com picks Ozark at Gravit, Lincoln at Berryville, and Huntsville at home over Green Forest. In the 2-4-A now, you've got number 10, Heber Springs, at number 3, Harding Academy. Hootens.com going with the Wildcats. Stuttgart at home, a favorite over Lone Oak. And Paul Knob is a road pick at Cave City. In the 3-4-A, fifth-ranked Rivercrest, a favorite at home over Truman. Blytheville welcoming Pocahontas. Blytheville has won five straight games now, including last week a 30-24 decision at Truman. Newtons.com likes the Chicks playing at home. Gosnell is another home favorite, welcoming Harrisburg. And Highland at home is picked over Jonesboro West Side. Okay, Barry. Looking at Heber Springs at Harding Academy, the winner is going to get the 2-4-A title. These two teams played non-conference games against each other for more than two decades before moving into the same conference last fall. By the way, Harding won that game by 26 points. Harding Academies won four straight conference championships, going for their fifth in this game. Last week, they hammered Riverview 45-7. Junior running back Isaac Baker, he had three touchdowns in that game. And, of course, the Wildcats got big plays from Owen Miller. But Coach Neil Evans says the best players on the team right now are uh, offensive lineman Jack Seeger and safety Alex Jones. He said those two guys have really elevated their play. Meanwhile, Heber Springs won seven games combined the past three seasons. Yet the Panthers are playing for a conference championship this week. They beat Stuttgart by a point last week, scored with 40 seconds left, went for a two-point conversion, and got it in the final seconds there. Parker Brown ran for more than 100 yards in that game. Coach Van Paschal's had his eye on this Harding Academy game since the start of the season, and he's got his Wildcats believing they can win. All right, let's move to the 4-4-A, where Pottsville travels to Dover, and the Apaches of Pottsville are favored. Lamar is a home favorite over Clinton. Boxite picked at Hall Steam, and Hootens.com is going with Harmony Grove Haskell at Mayflower, though that should be a very close game. In the 7-4-A, number one Malvern, Faces number 10, Nashville, this game at Malvern. These two teams played twice last year, with Malvern winning both times, including in the semifinals of the playoffs. This time, Hootens.com is picking Malvern to win again. Ashdown at home is favored over Mina, and Arkadelphia, going out of conference, plays Fordyce of Class 3A and is favored. In the 8-4A now, number two, Warren, favored at Helena. That uh, could be a blowout. Cross it is the pick at Dumas. DeWitt gets the nod at McGee. Hootens.com favors Monticello at home over Star City. All right, Barry, finishes off for 4A. But David Warren should have a blowout victory over Helena. This Warren team really running the football well. They can pass it, play great defense, seem to have all the components of a state championship. Cross it at Dumas is key. Cross it can't get uh, caught looking over Dumas. And then Star City at Monticello could be dangerous for Monticello. The Billies coming off that emotional loss last week to Warren. And Star City, this is the final game of the year for the Bulldogs. They have a bye in Week 10, have just one victory this season, so they'll lay it all out on the line and really hadn't played too horribly at all this season. Caleb Williams had two touchdowns last week. Morgan Leopard, 14 tackles. Monticello is getting big plays, though, from Jaquavius Rhodes and John Tavius Jackson. Those guys playing really well, so Hootens.com picks Monticello. All right, David, getting a little closer to kickoff. I'm Chad Hooten for America's Car Mart, keeping you on the road. It's America's Car Mart, and they will do all they can to keep you on the road. America's Car Mart makes it easy to buy. They offer affordable, quality vehicles, low down payments, plus optional service contracts to offer a little peace of mind. And if you're credit challenged, America's Car Mart is the place for you. Affordable used vehicles with low down payments, flexible payment plans. It's America's Car Mart, keeping you on the road. And coming up next, it's more of the America's Car Mart football report. Not all college ends with a bachelor's degree. There are shorter term programs that help students get to work in a profession they love. Best of all, Arkansas needs qualified workers in these high demand fields, healthcare, industry manufacturing, and information technology. There are scholarships such as Arkansas Workforce Challenge and Our Future that will help pay for classes. Apply today at scholarships.adhe.edu. Hey everyone, it's Tony Romo, and I'm here to remind you that it's grilling season. And how do you make those summer cookouts extraordinary? With beef. 
Whether you're slow roasting ribs or throwing a couple of hamburgers on the grill, some top sirloin kebabs, or wait, what was I saying again? Oh yeah, set your grilling season on fire this year with beef. Beef, it's what's for dinner. For more ideas, visit beefitswhatsfordinner.com. Funded by beef farmers and ranchers. This ad is current. Class 3A picks are coming now, then 2A, then 8-man on this America's Carmart Football Report in Class 3A on the Hootens.com Top 10. It stays the same from a week ago. Number one, Boonville has all but sewn up the 1-4-A title after beating Charleston last week. Second is Prescott. Then you have Harmony Grove, Washita County. This team may have clinched a conference title with a one-point win last week at Fordyce. Charleston is fourth. Salem is unbeaten. At number five at 8-0, and and Salem plays Perryville this week for the 2-3-A conference title. Sixth is Hoxie, also unbeaten. The Tigers of Mansfield stay at number seven after losing two games in a row. Walnut Ridge is eighth, and Glen Rose is ninth, and Newport at number 10. 83 picked correct on the year in Class 3-A. A lot of games with uh, key conference championship implications. Let's get into the picks in the 1-3-A. Number one, Boonville, a big favorite at home over Lavaca. Fourth-ranked Charleston is the pick at West Fork. Mansfield, the number seven team this week, welcomes Cedarville. Cedarville broke an 11-game losing streak last week, but Hootens.com picks them to go right back to their losing ways. Hackett is a favorite at Greenland. In two 3A conference games, number five, Salem, gets the pick at Perryville. Tenth-ranked Newport is another road favorite at Yellville Summit. Newtons.com is selecting Melbourne at home over Quitman in three 3A conference games. Number six, Hoxie, our home favorite over Osceola. Eighth-ranked Walnut Ridge gets the nod at Manila. Walnut Ridge and Hoxie are headed for a showdown next week. Okay, Barry, before we go any further, how about one of those games? Number five, Salem's returning to action this week. The Greyhounds cruising toward a conference championship, but they've got to get past Perryville. Both teams 4-0 in league play. Salem getting big plays offensively from Caden Brink. He had five touchdowns a couple of weeks ago against Yellville Summit. Perryville has won five straight games, shut out Whitman 30 to nothing last week. Connor Frith, the dual threat quarterback, put up nearly 300 yards and last week recorded his 10th interception of the year on defense. So this is a game that could go right down to the wire, but Hootens.com picks Salem. Let's move on in the 4-3-A now. Bismarck picked at Two Rivers. Hootens.com goes with Jesseville at Danville and Magnet Cove at home over Paris. In the 5-3-A, number nine, Glen Rose, a road favorite at Center Point. Junction City is a home pick against Horatio. Smackover, a road favorite at Gurdon. In the 6-3-A, number three, Harmony Grove, Washita County is riding high and should blow out Lake Village. Barton is a road favorite at Ryzen. Conversely, that will be a close game. Okay, Barry, how about 3-A? Really looking at Glen Rose at center point for the conference championship. Glen Rose shut out two rivers 63 to nothing last year. Week. The Beavers have won 11 straight conference games. Heath Balance, the running back, really playing well, and so is Ryan Bland at quarterback. Center point has won five straight games, beat Paris last week by a touchdown. This one could go right down to the wire. It's in center point, but Hootens.com goes with the Glen Rose Beavers. Now to Class 2A, let's run down the Hootens.com rankings quickly for you. Number one is Mineral Springs, followed by Bigelow, Carlisle, and Hazen in two through four. EPC is fifth, and you have Conway Christian, Murfreesboro, Mark Tree, Desarc, and England in that order, closing out the top ten. On the year, Hootens.com is 122. That's a 82% on the season in Class AA. Now to the 1-2A, where number two Bigelow is picked at home over number six Conway Christian. Hector goes to Mountainburg, but the Wildcats are favored. In the 2-2A, EPC, the number five team, welcoming number nine, Desarc, a top ten showdown, and Hootens.com. Going with East Poinsett County, number nine, Mark Tree at home, a favorite over Cross County. Clarendon travels to Earl. Clarendon currently on a seven-game losing skid. Hootens.com picks Earl there. McCrory welcoming Mariana. Mariana has lost seven in a row. Hootens.com picking the Jaguars of McCrory. In the 3AA, number one, Mineral Springs, a favorite at Poen. Mount Ida entertains Foreman. The Gators have not won a game since beating Mineral Springs 20-14 to 
on November 4th, 2021. So the easy pick here is Mount Ida. Murfreesboro, a home favorite over Lafayette County. In the 4-2A, number three, Carlisle goes against number 10, England. That game in Carlisle, and the home team is favorite. Number four, Hazen, another home favorite over Bearden. And Hampton welcomes Episcopal, a battle of winless teams. Hootens.com thinks Hampton will get off the snide. All right, David, getting me ready for some football. I'm Chad Hooten of Hooten's Arkansas Football for America's Car Mart. Did you know, just like this America's Car Mart football report is on more than 20 stations around the state, Car Mart serves over 20 communities in Arkansas. They're a different kind of car dealership. Their commitment to service and excellence is second to none. And when you buy from Car Mart, they do everything they can to get you into a quality use vehicle and keep you on the road until payoff. They offer shorter contracts, lower interest rates, and low down payments, a flexible payment plan. CarMart will work for you. Check out some of their vehicles online or start your buying experience at car-mart.com. It's America's Car Mart. And coming up next, more of the America's Car Mart football report. Going to college may not look the same as it has before, but you have the power to move forward. There are over 1,000 hands-on or online programs in Arkansas designed to put you to work, and they qualify for state scholarships and grants. Healthcare, education, computer technology, industry technology, and more. Take your next step forward. Visit exploreARcareers.com with instructions about how to apply. Well, that takes care of another America's Car Mart football report. And what a week of games we've got lined up. To follow scores as soon as they happen, check out Hootens.com and the high school scoreboard powered by First Security. If you want to see a cool feature on Hot Springs defensive end Kendall Williams, that's also at Hootens.com. Kendall is this week's first Community Bank Scholar Athlete of the Week. Next week starts the weeding out process as we close out the regular season. We'll be here for it on the America's Carmart Football Report. For Barry Grooms, I'm David Wallace.